Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title, today's video is going to be a 90s style bucket hat and shoulder bag. We're going to jump straight in because this video is going to be really long. I'm going to keep popping on here when I need to explain things a little bit further. And yeah, we're going to dye the fabric, then do the bucket hat and then move on to the shoulder bag. So stay tuned to the end and hope you enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, the fabric worked amazing. I love the washed out olive green color and the tie dye worked perfectly. So we're just gonna get straight in with the bucket hat. As you can see, I am measuring out the patterns and tracing them. So I will pop these on screen on the next slide for your screenshot and try and replicate yourself. However, there might be some online that you could also use and download and just follow the steps along with me. But let's get straight in.
done i love it we're going to move on to the shoulder bag now so as you can see i am tracing out the patterns i will put these on screen next for you to screenshot and replicate them but yeah let's get straight in we're going to start with pinning them onto the fabric and cutting them out and then we'll go from there So for this part I did add some interfacing to the side panel, this is optional as I know everybody won't have it but you could also just do this with an extra piece of fabric to make the sides a little bit sturdier but yeah.
So in a second you'll see that the fabric is a little bit too tight to fit around the corner so what you want to do is you just want to take your scissors and snip a couple of millimeters in just so it stretches a bit easier and fits perfectly. <laughs> So I actually cut the strap and add a D-ring, but if you don't want to do this step or if you don't have a D-ring, then just follow the steps as normal and place the normal strap where I put the D-ring. Oh, 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 oh,
again this step is also optional as i know everybody won't have the fastening that i use but you could just repeat the steps and add the strap over the bag and do the little fabric belt loop as well just so you have a little strap fastening and you don't need any metal hardware <laughs> Yay yeah, guys, this is how both of the pieces turned out. I love them so much. Such a nice 90s vibe and perfect for the summer period coming up. If you did make your own along with this video, then I hope you love yours too. Uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I am posting a lot more fashion DIY videos, so stay tuned for them. Yeah, my socials will be linked either on screen or down below, so please follow them. And thanks very much for watching. Bye.